Hello and welcome to another episode of Mod Sauce. In today's episode, we are going to be doing this. Well, if you can't tell, I'm referring to the blood magic altar here. We're going to be doing blood magic. Now, as you can see, I've already done a few things uh, over there as well, and uh, with the flower. I also moved everything out here is because I could fit in a bit more room. And admittedly, this place isn't big enough on its own either, so... Once we actually get a builder's one, I am going to extend this, make it bigger, and actually build something out of this. Make a proper base for us. But I really want that builder's one because it makes it easier to build things. <laughs> Call me lazy, but... And yeah, I kind of managed to kill myself a few times. Let me just get rid of that. Delete that one. There we go. Now, I've already done a few things. And I've basically gotten to the point where I can start doing the rituals. But to summarize, it's a really boring process. You need to basically cut yourself a few hundred thousand times. Make stones into... Uh, not into slates or demonic slates I think it is was use no recipe here you need to make stones into blank slates which you then make into into reinforced slates and so on and so forth a really slow process but we're at stage three I think let me see do I have it on me yes I do so let's see here we're basically at yeah tier three and now we can start doing the interesting things Oop, having a bit of a test lag, just checking here. FPS 18. Well, it seems like I'm having a few issues, but it shouldn't be a problem. What's going on? Let me just refresh the chunks again. It seems to happen whenever I start up the world for, for the first time. But yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a bound sword. Now, how's it going here? I think it isn't really working. Yeah, they're all. Filled up. Let me just pick this up, drop it in here, and let me just turn this up by one second. Let's see if that one goes away first. Yes, it did. All right, that should be good enough. But the first thing we're going to be doing is creating a bound sword. Now we need a bit of space for this, so um, let's see. We don't really have much space in general now when I think about it. But shouldn't be a too much of a problem if we do it, let's say, hmm. Do I have everything on me? Yes, I do have everything on me, except the activation crystal. We need an activation crystal. So let's actually make that on camera. Shouldn't be too hard. Activation crystal. Let's see here. Take the activation crystal. It's made from a lava crystal, which is made using three lava buckets. Do I have any lava? Lava. Nope. Bucket. I have buckets. So, I'm just going to grab some lava and we'll get right to it. And there we go. I got the lava, and the rest I think we should have in the ME system. Let me see here. So we need like three packets of lava like this, and then lava crystal it was, right? Let's see, what else do we need? We need two pieces of glass, two obsidian, and one diamond. Okay, so I think I should have everything. Two pieces of, oops, two pieces of glass. And then um, diamond, like so. And then what else was it? Obsidian. Obsidian, I have plenty of. Now, and the last thing was the orb. And there we go. We have a lava crystal. Do I have to bind it to something? I don't know. Can I just? Nope. Well. To make the lava crystal, we need to put this inside the blood altar. So basically, we're gonna go through the boring process that's gotten me this far right now. Let's see. Anyway, while we're doing this, I just want to say something. If you're watching this video, you probably noticed the new intro. 
Uh, let me know what you think about it, because it's actually my first time trying to make an intro. I just looked up uh, a royalty-free music, uh, well, a royalty-free music track from Free Music Archive, I think it's called. And basically went from there. I like this beat on it, at least it's what I'm, part I'm using. Big oh, Fishing Crystal. And I basically threw something together. Personally? Personally, I really like it, and yeah, it's a good way of introduce of ba basically saying, "Hey, welcome back to Mod Sauce." I'm still probably gonna be saying that a lot, but this is it. It's a way of it's a, it's basically a good way. Honestly, I like it. I like the intro, but now we need somewhere to actually do this. So let's hop up here. Whoop. You know what? Why? Why not? We're gonna do it right on top of here. I'm trying to find like the middle. Is this one better? Yes, I think this one is better. Let's see. Well, technically it's not really much better, but hey, it works. So we need the Master Ritual Stone. I just realized something. It will cause lightning to strike, which is not something good. So let's just hop away. Ooh. Really can't wait until I actually have flying, because this is gonna be so much easier to move around them. Ooh. Here we go, here we go. That this will work. Let me just clear this out for a second. Oh god. I keep forgetting how high I am. Let's see. Wait, I heard no sound. Why is there no sound? Oh, okay, that's odd. Apparently all my sounds were turned down. So let's fix this. 40, 40, and 40. There we go. Might as well put on the music a bit as well, just so you get a bit of ambience. Let's see. Yeah, there we go, now the sound's on. So first off, let me just place this down here. We need to place down this ritual stone. Alright, and next we need to use this Ritual Diviner, which is set to the Ritual Binding, which is what we want. Uh, now if we look here, it says we need 8 Blank Stones, 4 Air, 4 Water, 4 Fire, 4 Earth. So that's like, what, 24 I think I calculated to? But we should have more than enough, I hope. So what we do is we just right click and it should place everything. Hey, look at this! Alright, so... Not fitting, it's actually becoming dark. Is my brightness all the way up? I've been wondering that. Brightness dark. Okay, so you should be able to see what's going on. Now, I think we just need to, like... Okay, so if we... Ooh, ooh, that's cool. We should just be able to... Oh, crap! Oh, ooh, ooh. what's going on? Whoa, what's going on? Why am I taking damage? Is it safe? Ooh, look at this bound blade. That is cool. Now I'm just gonna take these things down. And we'll go back to our altar to... And I'll explain the next step in this process that we're gonna be doing. Oh, come on. So yeah, see you in a second. Now, for any successful step, or... Yes, not successful. For any successive step, we actually need these things called blood shards. Let me see if I can show you all. Blood shard. Now, does it show up in... Yes, here. Weak blood shard. Initially acquired by killing mods... Mobs under the blank effect from either a bound blade or a blank... Okay. 100%. Now, these you can actually duplicate using an imbued slate, which is from... How do I make these? Oh. Tier 3, yeah, okay, so I can easily make those, and you get 5 each time. Now, what we're gonna be doing, trying to do in this episode, is trying to get blood armor. But for that, we need to have these sockets. If I can just get them, nope. Oh, wait, I saw them. Sockets. We need to have... Come on. This, empty socket, which we need basically 4 per each, so... Now how do we get these? Well, we kill things with a bound blade. Now I have set up here an auto spawner and we have a skeleton. Ooh, let me step back. That was a bit of light. 
Is it gonna appear? Skeleton? Oh, okay, so one second. We need a way of providing energy. So I'm just gonna head up quickly here, make a Tesseract, because I don't think I have any left. I think I got a few filled ones when trying to make the auto system. So test. Yeah, I got some filled ones. So let's just quickly do this. Grab one and head back down. I really need to find another way to it rather than falling. A uh, bit dangerous there. So let's just head in here. It is inside. Grab this. Put it to receiving energy. That's basically what we want. And oop, we also want it to receive fluid. There we go. Is it? Yeah, it's working now. Not working as fast as I'd like, but it should give us an opportunity to basically get some free blood shards without having too much work. So here it comes. Aye. That hurt. Oh, we actually got one on the first try. So, we actually don't need any more skellies. I thought I'd have to get a few. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more, just so I can show you all. Is this like a normal sword? Okay. Yeah, it seems to be like a normal sword, except I can't block with it. And... Oh. Whoa, bit of a piss like there. Yeah, no, it's not a guaranteed uh, drop every single time. So let's try it one more time. And then I'm gonna do a bit of duplication using the demonic, was it? Let's see, recipe. The imbued, oh, can we make, yes. Okay, we need at least one more so we can do this. Wow. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a cut here until I got at least two and have made a few more using the duplication thingy. Alright, so here we are. I'm just finishing off this, getting a few of these blood shards. Now we got about 64 of them, so that should be good enough. Now we need to make this, these sockets. Now, how do you actually make these? We have the blood shards, so it's four blood shards, a glass, and a diamond. Glass. Well, we got plenty of that, so you just, let's just make it like this. And, I think it's like, what, what was it? Like this. And then a diamond. Okay, was it the other way down? Okay, so let me try this with this. I actually just looked at it, which is kind of embarrassing. Now, how many do we need? We need like, uh, let's see. So one, a leg or chest piece. That's the best idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight we need. Because you actually make the blood armor using these, which is what we're trying to achieve in this episode. Now let's just, um, let's keep these on us for now and let's see what happens. Now to fill these, I'm pretty sure you need to go to the blood altar once more and fill them with blood. Honestly, obviously. So. Let's try this. How much recipe no, it uses? 30... 30,000... <sighs> okay, well, let's try one on camera. It seems to be draining the blood reasonably quickly. I'll probably fill the rest of these off camera, and I'll probably be back with y'all very shortly when that happens. As you can see, I've actually upgraded the blood altar with a few more runes of self-sacrifice. Meaning that each time I basically cut my own wrist, which is kind of morbid. But basically it means that each time I cut my wrist, uh, a m bit more will go into the altar. And it's actually draining it quite quickly, wow. So this is probably not going to take long. Now, I know you can make a bunch... Oh, there we go. It's done. Okay, a filled socket. Now, I know you can make a bunch of sigils. Let's see here. These things, oh, wait, sigil, sigil, here we go. Bunch of these things, which, if you buff them with your... Wait, what does this do? Low sigil, low sigil. Um, I'll have to look up what these do, but I know you can put them into 
into the armor to basically get a bunch of buffs. So I'm just going to fill up the rest of these and look these up. This one seems very similar to our light spell, but none of them seem really hard to make is looking at well except this one sigil of haste mm, money slate okay tier 4 15 nah, that we can at least make one of those i think shouldn't be too hard but yeah i'm just gonna make, fill the rest of these blood sockets and i'll be right back once more lots of cuts in this one so let's get to it how ironic speaking of cutting and actually cutting myself this is a really time-consuming mod. I had no idea how time-consuming it would be. You see, those filled blood sockets or filled socks we made earlier, they're actually consumed when you make the armor. So I had to make a few more blood shards to make the filled sockets, or to make the sockets to make the filled sockets, and I had to do them one by one because they require a lot of LP to make, so it was. I had to just stand there taking them one by one because, as I was saying, putting them into the hopper to do them all at once would just. It was too much. I could not keep up with the demand, and not even with renovation, I could keep up with the demand. So I had to make 24 of them in total. Then I read up on these sigils, and I made a few here. Now, this one, let me just see. Do I have any? If we're safe, I can do this. Um, I guess not really, but let me just go down here and I'll show you all. Now this one, if I place it inside of a hole, creates lava. Oh yeah, I forgot we had pieces. <laughs> that was a bit of a coincidence. Now this one creates lava, this one creates water. As you can see, as uh, simple as that. Do I have any dirt on me? No. Let me spray this and... Well... I guess that works. But anyway, I had to then see, find out that these actually use up LP when they are put into armor. So I had to make a few more Master Blood Orbs because... Turns out that if you have a Master Blood Orb and you like use it with the armor when you create the armor it will not use LP something like that now I just want to go through two more sigils and how to craft them so we're actually gonna if I just do here now as you can see I made four massive blood orbs because there's four pieces of armor and we needed this soul armor forge as well but uh, that meant I needed to make four more filled sockets but yeah, let me just play... I'm just gonna keep those in my inventory. They're actually fairly, fairly cheap to duplicate when I think about it, because you get five per, so, and you get... So basically, when you first make the first five, you can make basically exponentially 25 next time. So yeah, what I want to do is make two more sigils. The sigil of haste, this one. So we need... Master Blood Orb, which we have. We need cookies, which is made that way, and we have no cocoa? Really? Sure, we have. We can easily make, but we have no cocoa beans? Really? Cocoa. Okay, well, that shouldn't be too hard to get. Um, I actually honestly thought I had everything, because I remember using cocoa beans to dye the armor, the mage armor, or the wool for the mage armor, mage robe armors actually even. So, shouldn't be too hard since Coco only spawns in the jungle. Uh, we just need to find some, shouldn't be too hard as I said. Um, yeah, here we go. Here's some Coco. What? Coco? Oh, I fell down from that one. And there we go. Six pieces of Coco. That should be good enough. Cocoa. I'm really sorry about if I honestly mispronounced that. Now there was another. Now here's the thing, though. You can only have one sigil, at least at the level that we're gonna be making it. You can only have one sigil per level. Oh, oh wait, you get a lot of cookies. Um, what was it? You can basically use one sigil per armor piece because we cannot get demon blood shards, which is basically the upgraded version of these. 
sugar and the money mm -hmm. slate. Was that obsidian? Yeah, obsidian. So first we need to make these into sugar. But yeah, you can only have one sigil per armor piece. And, you know, without a demon blood shard. So I had to choose. I wanted to make this one, Citadel Fair, because from what I gather, it can basically make you fly in some sort of way. Uh, soul, not Soul Shard. Um, what was it? Obsidian. Here we go. Now, I forgot what the middle piece was. Sigil of Haste. Haste, oh, yeah, the Demonic Slate, this one. Now, so, I have to choose. So I choose these. Lava Sigil, which I, from looking here, gives me Fire Resistance. Water Sigil, Water Breathing. The Venation Sigil, Night Vision. And Sail of Haste gives me Sprint. I think. Yeah, Sigil of the Fast Miner is the one that gives me haste in terms of mining. So it was I, I Sigil of Fast Sigil of the Fast Miner, which gives me haste. I honestly don't need because I'm using something that instantly breaks blocks anyway. In terms of my of my Ars Magica spells, Dig and Hammer and all those. And I do have my Leaf spell, so I don't need full damage, which the Air Sigil gives. Now, the second sigil I wanted to make is this one, Sigil of Magnetism. Because it basically, from what I gather, like teleports blocks into your inventory. And as we saw, I actually know this one inside out for some reason compared to the other one. It is... Where's my sh blood orb? Blood orb, there we go. Sigil of Magnetism of Haste. I have a very magnetic personality. Now, if we just do it like this, and I activate it, I can throw my dagger, and it should... Yeah, there we go. It basically sucks items in. It's a very handy thing. Now, let's turn it off. And I think we should have everything needed to make the armor. I think. So, let's do it over here. I actually got something. I actually got the North American flower. Let me just fill up this hole. Our horse, actually, if you remember, uh, way, way back in like episode 2, well, not way, way back, we managed to grab ourselves a horse and I put them inside this hole. Seems he ended up despawning at some point and I just recently noticed this. So we don't really have any use for the hole. Maybe he despawned, maybe he got killed. I don't know. I haven't. I didn't even know he was gone until earlier, which is kind of sad, but once we can get, like, creative fly, we don't really need a horse anyway. Now, uh, how does this work? Actually, we need a 9x9. Nine nine. Well, actually, I'm, I'm just following Soul, how Soldier made it. He made a 9x9, nine nine and place... There we go. It's like a crafting grid. We need... The soul for armor. Let's make the armor piece first, or the chest piece first. So we need like. Oh, can I destroy this without destroying it? Okay, so it drops like a normal block. That's cool. Now, um, how do you do this? You need this, and you need one of those. Let me just organize a bit here. Um, this one I don't want to put in. So I guess you like do it like this. And what do you do next? Activation crystal? Whoa! Okay, does this use LP by any chance? Like, can I check my LP network? Okay, well, it didn't seem to use all too much LP, so I think we're good. <laughs> and next is we can move this down by one block. Let me just do that. Put this here, and we should be good to go for the rest of them. Like so. Let's make the pants next. And let's put... I don't think it really matters. Let's put the... Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Water Sigil. Blood Orb. Blood Shard. Master Blood Orb. And... What? Okay, that's not good. Uh, stop. Stop. Burning. Stop burning. 
Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. This is not good. This is not good. Really not good. Um. Yeah, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna do it like this. I uh, the hope it can't spread now. Um. Yeah, I did not know that was gonna happen. And there's really nothing I can actually do about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope it is. Yeah, I think it's gonna burn down the entire tree. What did we make? We made the pants. Okay, so we made the pants. Next, we need a pair of shoes. Let's put the lava sigil in those. And weak blood shard and blood orb. What? Wait, what? Um, why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? Do I have to, like, have it at a certain spot? Oh, okay, that worked. Uh, okay, lava sigil. That's good. Now, for the helmet. Let's put the divination. Oops. That. The, no! Aw, oh, damn it! You have my own divination sigil. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Uh, yeah, there's two divination sigils in there. Um. I don't know how that works. But. Let's see. Uh, hmm. I need to make a new divination sigil to see if how this functions now. Uh, sigil. Can I make a new one? I thought, I honestly thought it rejected my sigil. Uh, yeah, I should have some slate. I have no blank slates, really? Stone. Do I have any stone left? Yeah, okay, so there we go. Let's go and make ourselves a blank slate. I'm sorry about this, this is probably gonna be a bit longer episode than normal, but I wanna see how the, if this is gonna affect it negatively. Else I'll have to remake the entire armor. Or at least this part. Let's see. This that should be good enough with blood. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. There we go. Blank slate. Okay, so let's hurry up and make another divination seal before I even put on this armor. Let's see. Uh it was like this and then the orb. I don't think it really matters. And then glass all around. Okay, I'm a bit of a not right now. Okay, so let's look. We have two thousand twenty no eighty two thousand three hundred. So let's put this. Oh, let's take this off. Let's put this on. Twenty three twenty two thousand three hundred. Okay, here we go. Twenty two thousand three hundred. Um. Oh, we're actually moving really fast. Okay, fall damage. Do I have night vision? Uh, I don't think night vision actually worked. So I guess I need to. Oh, it's draining LP. I'm confused now. Let me just see here. Let me just walk around. Oh wow, this is really, really fast. It doesn't seem to be draining that much LP. Let me just dig in here. Sorry, apologies for this, but let me just want to see. Yeah, the divination settle was supposed to grant it night vision, but it doesn't seem to be working. Um, is it providing us with any protection though? That's like the important part. So let's just run up here. I do notice though that the boost actually gives me step up. So this is a really jagged movement. Mm, let me see here. Let me just use 
this and get to the dungeon over here. Oh, okay, so where are you? Hi, can you shoot me? Oh wow, I think it is working. It's draining LP very slowly though. Wow, this is great. Okay, so fun's over. Oh wow, this is actually quite great, honestly. It's like I'm constantly sprinting. Now, I think I'll have to reforge the helmet though, but yeah, we got ourselves blood armor. Oh wow, it looked like a samurai. <laughs> this is cool. My top hat is still showing though. This is cool armor. Now, that's basically it for this episode, and I will. S and next time we'll be fighting the Wither. I'll see you all later.